Hi all, um, I just want to go over um, the Legend Bowl draft mod that I made, um, show you how to install it and how to um, use the mod. So first thing, um, as with all the Legend Bowl stuff modding that you want to do, um, most of this is going to be done by installing it into your user, your username, um, and then you need to go to the app data folder. This folder might be hidden, so you need to unhide the folder then navigate all the way through and eventually you want to get to custom rosters. In here there's a couple big things you need to pay attention to. One is the outbox where Legend Bowl will save things after it loads and then there's an inbox where Legend Bowl will load new things into the game and they will move stuff from the inbox into the outbox. So that's really important because in order to use the inbox you need to have, make sure you have all these three files um, available. So, um, and I'll talk about that after we're done um, with this. Um, so to install the mod, all you do is unzip into this roster, sort of next to this inbox and all this. Um, after you run the mod, um, the mod will also create a drafted rosters folder. This is where it will put the files after you've um, used, the, after you've run the mod, it'll put the, the player files. Uh, another big thing to note is you must, in the outbox, you must have a functional player user and team user file. It uses these two files and if they are not here or they are broken um, for whatever reason, you are doing some other modding or messing with them, and it will not work. So you must use those two files. Okay, so in order to use it, it's pretty simple. You click on here, you'll see Legend Bowl Draft. I did it in Unity. Um, so you can just click here and it will boot it up. All right, so we can see here, um, this is sort of the, the setup screen. Um, and I'll just kind of go from left to right here. So this is where you can select the number of rounds. When you click Start Draft, nothing will happen unless you've ch selected a number of rounds. Um, right now, it's, it's, it's up to seven rounds. And then you can do an All Draft. An All Draft will um, basically delete all the players and create a new draft pool where you'll draft an entire league. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one because it kind of has all the bells and whistles in it um, as far as the draft today. You can do random draft order, um, and uh, I'll go ahead and do that since we're gonna do a brand new draft. I'm just gonna do a random draft order. Um, and then I'm gonna do a snake draft since it's gonna be drafting the whole league. And you can click on these here as well. Now, uh, then there's another thing here that um, allows you if you're doing a it's kind of a custom league um, it, it'll work kind of weird in legend bowl if you do this but uh, others um, we have a, a, a great sort of uh, legend bowl champion series that's um, going through and using um, smaller teams uh, and utilizing them or sm smaller uh, league sizes and so you can actually set this to a smaller number if you'd like you still need to have full 32 teams here but what you do if you use a smaller number of teams, uh, make sure the, the, the human teams that are actually going to draft are at the, you know, at the front of the order. Um, and then it'll basically just skip all the ones at the back of the order, depending on the number you have here. Um, next is more extremes. More extremes, um, what this is, is just this. Um, I basically made the default to where when it rolls for an ability, it rolls two numbers and takes the average. If you do more extremes, it'll only roll once, so you'll get more extremes. But this is gonna give you lots of really high numbers, like you'll get you lots of 99s. Um, if you take the average of two rolls, it gives you a lot fewer 99s, which is something I prefer. But I left this here for folks that may not want that. All right, and then here over here is where you can sort of edit the, um, the mins and maxes. I didn't have quite every position on here. I combined a couple, um, but it has almost all of them on here. Um, and uh, basically what you can do is you can go in here and you can change the men, say I want to say quarterbacks, I want to have them a skill of 50 or whatever, and you can change that. And it will, when it generates the new draft, it will use these mins and maxes. Um, I've set this because this is what I like, um, but you can obviously put uh, whatever you want for yours. All right, so, and then, oh, as far as changing draft order, it's pretty simple. You just drag, you drop a new team down and it swaps it and then it, it takes that team and swaps it with the other team that was there. So just kind of go down starting from one and go down and put your, put your teams in as you're, as, as you're, as you're doing this. Um, and, um, oh, I misspelled Montreal. Um, 
Okay, so now we're ready. Uh, we'll hit start draft, and now a new screen pops up that uh, basically um, uh, gives you some options, sort of, you know, I call these sort of like franchise options maybe. Um, you know, a lot of us were looking for a sort of a franchise mode. And so this does a lot of things. First one is age players. If you click on this, uh, what it'll do is age players. Um, players will age, um, and all players in the league, they will be aged by one year, and it also um, increase their experience by one year. Um, so you can click that. Uh, retire players, what this does, if you click on this one, it's going to take players that are over 32 and it's going to give them a chance to retire. 5% every, so you can see this. What it does when it retires a player, just like what it's going to do for us right now, is it's going to erase that player and replace them with a practice squaddy, um, which is just a, a crappy player that, um, that you hopefully want to replace and the computer will try to replace as well. Um, and then uh, player progress. Um, player progress, what this does is it is going to um, calculate, basically give us progress over time. Uh, so if you click on this, it will progress the, the players by a year also when you hit start draft. Um, and this basically, um, the way it works right now is that uh, if you're sort of below age 30-ish, um, skill and strength will increase as you age. Uh, and then as you get older, it, it kind of levels off. Um, and then speed, agility, and stamina, just all of them sort of slowly, they go, may go up slightly at the beginning of the career, but they generally will all decline uh, with age. Um, that's the progress we have here. Um, I have this other button here called an Alter Rookies button. I recommend you use this if you're gonna use player progress. Because what the Alter, and I'm gonna click these because we're gonna use these. Um, the Alter Rookies button, what it does is it takes the Alt Rookies and it makes them less skilled and less lower strength, but increases their speed, agility, and stamina. Um, and so this is just to sort of plan for. So Rookies are gonna come to the league, they're gonna be faster, more agile, but they are gonna have less skill and not gonna be as strong. Over time, that's gonna increase, these will go down, and so it kind of fits better. So I really recommend using both of these if you're gonna use player progress. Um, the last little button is a button that you really are probably only going to use it on your first, um, the first time you you draft a full draft like we're going to do today. Um, this is going to age the draft pool. What this does is it takes the draft that you have and all the, the draft pool players that it puts in there, um, it's going to take those players, it's going to give them a random age, and then it's going to progress them over a career. And so this is going to give you a nice idea of, you know, just if you just run this a couple of times, you get a nice idea of what progression looks like. Um, and if you are going to use pro progress players, use alter rookies, then you probably want to, if you're going to do a full draft, you probably want to make your initial draft using this age draft pool. After your first draft, you don't use this anymore. You don't want your, your rookies to be aged. Um, this is just for um, the first draft. And once you're ready, you hit start draft. And it's doing like, if you since we did an age draft pool, it takes a little bit longer because it's generating about 3,000 players. And so it could take, you know, a little longer, but um, but it sort of goes through this. And so you can sort of see, um, here's the draft screen. It's not super pretty, but um, it basically has all the functionality you need. So over here, you can see the overalls are calculated. And you can see my setup. I kind of like this setup, but you do whatever you want. It sort of has a, you know, um, you know 90s or, or so are, are rare. Um, so there's not going to be many 90s in the league. Um, and so it's a little bit harder to sort of get um, those really high 90 positions. Um, but you can set it up however you want. It has everything here. It shows the player age on the end. Um, and then uh, here you can pull it the drop down menu and you can sort of uh, put your go through the positions and just draft from positions. Um, so you can kind of go through that. Uh, unfortunately, there's no scrolling. Scrolling would take a lot of work. I'm not sure it's super necessary um, because most people are going to draft one of the top 20 uh, within each group. So I, I haven't put that in there yet. Um, but uh, so you can kind of go through each of these. And when you want to draft a player, you just click draft and it drafts them. And uh, one thing to know is that uh, it, it when it drafts it, it auto sorts your roster. And because a legend bullet, the, the roster file is pretty picky, it needs to have you know a pretty set um, 
types in there. What it does when it when you draft a player, it, it drops the lowest player in overall at that position and replaces them with this player. And then it reorders your roster. Um, so you it will be automatically dropping players for you um, uh, in order to do this. Now, another thing to, to notice is that you can click here on View Roster, and it'll show the roster for each team. And notice how this roster is full of practice squaddies. Um, and uh, that's because we did a brand new draft. And so you can see that overall these practice squad guys are terrible. Um, you're going to want to replace them. Um, and this is just sort of a reminder to you that you have one of these guys on the team. I didn't want to give them a name because then you might not notice them. Uh, I wanted to make it very obvious. And so that way you make sure to replace these. Okay. And so then you can just kind of let the computer, I'm just going to pick a few to get passed around so that we can go back and look at a roster and see that we've got some guys being drafted. So you click on here and you can see here's, you know, Gerald Herman, an 87 overall fullback, and he was drafted right here that, that first round. Um, and so you can sort of see how that, that works. And notice how he was put to the front of his position uh, because he's a lot better than those squaddies. And it dropped the other squad that was there. Okay, uh, the other thing, and I, I guess you may not know, I'm, I, I, is you have this let the computer pick, so you can draft yourself, or you can just click this button and it'll let the computer pick. So you can just kind of go through, and if you're playing your own team, or a couple of you guys are playing teams together, you know, have a little league, but you have a couple computers in there, uh, you can just let it happen. Also, you know, we're drafting like 53, if you're, you know, like today, we're trying to do 53 uh, players. Um, it might take a while, and you may not want to do them all, so you can also click simulate remaining picks, and that will simulate uh, the rest of the draft. Um, so I guess that's a, most of the major stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and click simulate remaining picks and you can see it pops up and it says do you want to save the draft saving will take several seconds so we're going to click it and it does take a little bit um, to, to do the save and it'll automatically close after it's done saving and here we go um, so here we are back at the, um, the, the home screen or the, the screen where we installed the file um, and you can see here that under drafted rosters, um, there is now a user file, and so that is going to be the team file. I'm going to go back here, and first thing we want to do is we want to go to the out folder, and we want to copy all three files from the out folder. And this you do this for almost all the player mods, or most of the mods that you do in uh, Legend Bowl, same thing. So you, you copy these files and you put them in the inbox. And, oops, I didn't copy. Paste and replace it. And so it pops these guys in here. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the drafted rosters, copy this file, and then paste it over the other user file. And so what this does is it now have, you have your new created roster here. Um, and uh, when you run Legend Bowl, this will disappear. And the, these files will basically get transferred into the outbox. So I recommend, one, always back up your, your, your rosters if you're, you know, if you're going through several seasons. Um, and two, that you, uh, you maybe make a copy of the outbox here uh, at some point. Um, so some way, so that way if, if you ever mess something up in here you can always go back and get it a copy so I'd recommend backing it up all right um, so now that we have this in our inbox we can uh, close this we can kind of click on legend bowl here and it's loaded up um, and we go to legend bowl and we should be able to I should have probably picked out a, a guy with a funny name that we drafted um, but it all booted up just fine and we can take a look at teams, we can take a look at rosters, and now it has our um, custom rosters in there. Um, so hopefully uh, this gives you a little idea how this works, and it should hopefully it's a fun way for you guys to expand on Legend Bowl. Um, if you have any questions, please um, go to the Discord and uh, and, and post uh, anything um, that that you have questions about, I'd be happy to try to answer questions. Also, bugs, please point those out because, um, you know, this is brand new, so I'm sure there'll be a little bit of bugs. Uh, so please uh, let me know if you have any.
Um, and good luck and have fun playing Witch Bolt. <laughs>